and that I get to spend the rest of my life with him. Mm. And so I had, you know, I had one agenda mm. to come up and, you know, use his love language to love him today. But mm. I also have an agenda that I want to pray for those of you here at Encounter. Lord, I just pray that you would start to prepare a person. You would start to prepare relationships yes. for those. You would get those ones ready to be the godly man or woman that they need in their life mm. to help support them. Mm. And Lord, I thank you. I thank you for my husband. Mm. Thank you, Lord. My mere words cannot express how much I appreciate him mm, mm, and that I'm grateful for him. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you because it's because of your love. Mm. You showed your love for me mm. through him. Mm. And I just pray for all of those out here, God that they would be godly men and godly women. And they would be support Mm. for the ones around them, God. That you would influence them, Lord. That they would hear your voice and they would be obedient, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I just pray these things in your precious name. And this week while I watched my testimony, if some of you guys watched the community group, I was just overwhelmed with the love of God Mm. that I've seen throughout the years. My husband, as he stood beside me Mm. and he supported me and he loved me and he's seen me at my utter worst, (laughs) but he continued to be faithful Mm. and obedient to the Lord because putting up with me is an act of mercy and grace. Thank the Lord for you and um, happy anniversary, 21 years this Thursday.